Recently, I did a series of builds called Twins or Triplets, in which I took the Twin Mill, the original Twin Mill, the red line, the Twin Mill 2 and the Twin Mill 3. I did a video for each of them, and I made them all into red lines and painted them all with the same red metal cast paint. Eric, a subscriber to the channel, came across this tuned Twin Mill and was kind enough to send it to me. So I'm going to do the same treatment to this missing sister of the group. Obviously, this is a tuned casting, and uh, for those who aren't familiar with them, it's obviously exaggerated. It's a cartoon version of the Twin Mill, uh, which, which <laughs> it's pretty obvious. Uh, it has a metal body, plastic base, the engine section you see there, the chrome engine section is plastic, and then there's the windshield. I'm not going to do anything to that chrome section. I am going to paint that black base with the, and uh, it's an aluminizer paint. Uh, I used it in the previous video on the base. I really like how it worked out. It's a metal uh, model master paint. So that little tiny glass, I did uh, hit it with gauzy, gauzy, gauzy. And uh, I started off, that's like right after drawing, the first thing I did, because you may notice up at the left, there's another glass that I did with gauzy at the same time. So uh, I thought, well, I'll just kill two birds with one stone here and knock them off at the same time. That glass that was already there was from the uh, truck that I did last week. So last week's video. So while those are uh, drying, I went ahead and uh, drilled this out. It has a very short post in the front and a nice long post in the back, especially because of the tuned treatment that they gave it. I haven't done very many tuned castings. I did a Gaslands tuned Mustang. As I recall, it was for a build that uh, Outlaw Speed Shop had. It was an invitational. So uh, I think this is only the second tuned casting I've worked on. Because of that short front post, I used a self-tapping screw. Or on the back, I uh, went ahead, drilled it out, and tapped it the usual way. And as you can see, I could have drilled that almost a half an inch into there if I wanted to. So it was very easy to just put a nice uh, long screw in there. Both of these are 256 screws, the short self-tapping and this other one. The casting itself was a little rough, and uh, I polished the heck out of it. I used some rubbing compound, I used flits, got it up to the point that you see there. It was still rough. I was pretty happy with it at this point, but it wasn't where I wanted it to be. So I did go over it again, wet sanding it. And you know, with enough sanding and filing, and then polishing, <laughs> a lot of polishing, it seems like you can get these castings pretty nice. You know, I haven't really seen, there have been a couple times where I, I thought if I had done some electroplating, it might help. But honestly, I haven't done that process yet. So I'm not certain how different it would have been. And when I have just kept working at these and polishing them, they seem to turn out pretty good, as you, as you can see there. At that point, I'm pretty darn happy with the polish that's on there. Ah, uh, the back wheels. The Twin Mill 3, when I did it, had oversized back wheels. And I was able to scrounge up a, a very stylistic redline type wheel. They don't, I haven't been able to find red lines this size anywhere. But uh, what I ended up doing for this, and, and there were people who didn't like the stylized wheel I used on that. I thought for this tuned version, let me just 3D print in effect a donut to go around the large red line bearing wheel. And as you can see there, I just worked at it, uh, designed it in Tinkercad, and I had to sand it a little bit on the edges to get it a little more round. And it is pressed to fit. I went over it with a gloss clear before inserting the tire, the, before inserting the red line. 
Again, these are bearings that I printed myself as well. And I just used the axles that were on there originally, cut off the wheels that were there and went with these. Uh, I believe the uh, wheels that I'm using there are from Bright Vision, as I recall. And uh, I ended up using four of them, two of which I inserted into those donuts. I really thought they looked pretty good for this tuned version. And it, it seemed to me like a pretty viable option to get a, a red line on here for the conversion. I didn't want to create something that just looks stupid or, or have some kind of other design that really wouldn't be a red line. It wouldn't, wouldn't be acceptable to me for this type of conversion. There you see at the bottom right the uh, aluminum metalizer paint on that base. I did not detail this at all. I was trying to make it like a red line. And I wanted it to match its sisters. <laughs> on one of the earlier ones, I had used rub and buff. Actually, I think on two of them, I used rub and buff on the base. And this is very similar to that in a way. It does give it a, a nice metal look. If, if you saw it in person, it doesn't look as just painted silver as it kind of does there. It has more of a metal look to it in person. So it was just a matter of getting uh, the wheel set put together and they just drop right in. As you'll see here in a second. <laughs> I don't know, that just kind of cracks me up looking at it. It looks like a tuned base all on its own. There you see the casting after I use the uh, metal cast red paint, like on its sisters. And I did go over that with my favorite Minwax you know, polyurethane uh, clear gloss. I did not do anything to that chrome center. And then there you see the wheels being dropped in and uh, then the the base that was converted over to that metal look. Yeah, one of the screws is a Phillips head, the other is a hex head. And so uh, I was able to have the screws all ready and set to go, each on uh, its own driver. <laughs> I'm pretty happy with uh, how this little guy turns out. It. Uh, I think it goes well with its sisters. So I guess what it was triplets or is originally now I guess it's quadruplets. And I guess there's an uh, E version out there from from what I've been told by subscribers. So who knows, maybe one of these days I'll do that one. But uh, I'd like to thank Eric again for sending me this casting. I originally told him not to send it for him to, to do it himself. And uh, he insisted, and I really do appreciate it. I think it'll go well with the sisters here. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed this build. I do have the uh, turntable shot coming up. And I do have some uh, glamour shots at the end, not only of this, this changed version, the red wine version of the tuned twin mill. But I also have pictures with its sisters. So you'll get to see all four of them together. I don't know, those back wheels crack me up. I think they, they go with the uh, tuned theme pretty well. <laughs> Yeah, I'm not big on the tuned castings usually, but this one just, uh, I don't know, it's, it's pretty damn funny if you ask me. So thank you very much for watching these videos. I hope you've enjoyed this. I hope you like seeing the family together here. And uh, everybody stay safe and healthy out there. Have fun with these little guys. Do them however you want to do them. That's part of the fun. There's no right or wrong. It's just the way you did it. Catch you all in the next one. Thanks also to my Patreon members. Woo, almost forgot. Thanks, guys. <laughs> See you later.